This tutorial for Demibooks Composer Pro is an introduction to behaviors. Behaviors are how you create interactivity. Each behavior is a conditional if-then statement. To add a behavior to an asset, first select the asset so it has a green highlight. Then touch the inspector icon in the top right corner of the workbench area. Scroll down the inspector menu to the behaviors heading. Select the triggered by option. Touch the plus icon in the top right corner of the triggered by menu to add a new behavior. Since behaviors are tied to a specific asset, it can be helpful to add the page number to your behavior name. Each if condition has two parts, the event, what will happen, and the object, what will cause the event to happen. The asset you selected is already listed as the object. Touch the event option to choose the trigger for the behavior. Touch the new behavior button in the top left corner of the trigger menu to go back one screen. Now that the if condition is set up, touch the then option. There are four options to choose from to set up your then condition. Transform actions deal with changing the position, the size, the rotation, or the opacity of your asset. The object of the transform action can be any asset on the page. It does not have to be the asset that you put the original behavior on. Choose the web link option if you want the user to go to a website. If you turn display warning on, the user will see a pop-up asking them if they want to leave the book out. You can add a wait action in between different then statements in your behavior. This will allow you to space out animations and other interactivity so they do not all happen at the same time. For any function action, you can choose the object to be acted upon and the specific function. For this example, we are going to play an animation as the function. The object of the function is the animation we want to play. Touch the Actions button in the top left corner of the new function menu to go back a screen. We now see the action that is set up as part of the behavior's then statement. Multiple actions under the then condition can happen in a single behavior. For this example, we are going to add another function to play another animation. If you select the object first, then the only functions that display in the list will be those related to the type of object that you chose. For example, choosing an animation will only show the functions that are allowed to act on an animation. To dismiss the inspector menu, touch the workbench area. To test the animations, touch the green preview icon in the top right corner of the workbench area. When the user touches the bunny, both animations play through once. Because we want to see the animation reset, we will add additional then statements to our behavior. Touch the red stop icon in the top right corner of the screen to return to the workbench area. Touch the inspector icon, scroll down, and touch the triggered by options. Select the behavior you want to edit. Select the then option to add more actions. After each animation is played forward, we will tell the behavior to play that same animation backwards. Because we don't want the animations to play all at the same time, we will add a wait command in between each animation. To reorder actions within the list, use the gray bars to the right of each action and drag them up and down to the position that you want. Because we want the paw animation to play first, we will move it to the top of the list. After you have changed a behavior, touch the preview icon to see the page as the reader would. Now when the user touches the bunny, both animations play forward and backward. This resets both animations so the user can play them again. More details about how to use Demibooks Composer Pro are available in the user guide and in other tutorial videos.